Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to generate NDVI or normalize difference vegetation index from Landsat 9 by using Quantum GIS. If you found this video is helpful, don't hesitate to subscribe my YouTube channel, hit the bell to gain updates and share for your friends and colleagues. Before we go to the practical aspect, I would like to say something about NDVI. NDVI is an equation which is computed by using near infrared and red bands from satellite image and it is used to quantify vegetation greenness and it helps to uh, identify for understanding of vegetation density in a certain area. Moreover, it helps to assess the health of vegetation and crops. Therefore, as far as the required data is concerned, we need to have near infrared and red band from uh, satellite image and the satellite image can be obtained from United States Geological Survey Data Hub. The, as far as the formula is concerned, then DVI is computed with the help of the formula of in near infrared minus red over near infrared plus red for Landsat 8 and 9, whereas for the oldest version of Landsat 4 up to 7, then DVI is computed from band 4 minus band 3 over band 4 plus band 3. This indicates that band 4 represents that near infrared whereas band 3 represents red band. So let's do it practically. First of all you need to open your quantum GIS from your computer. This is the interface of quantum GIS. It has a layer, a browser and a display option. So uh, to compute NDVI, what we're going to do is we need to extract or we, can, we need to have the required data from our device. So we need to add a data, go to layer, from layer select our layer and go to the right side and select add raster layer. Here there are different options, uh, then from source go to uh, the right corner with the three dots and select all rows and directly go to the data the folder that contains Landsat 9 image in my case it is found in my D drive here is Landsat 9 from the available 11 bands I need only two bands that uh, means the red band and the, red, the near infrared red is band 4 and near infrared is band 5 select both and open here i have selected two bands and directly click add to display on our window this is both band 4 and band 5 the other way of adding record data is go to the browser option at the left corner and select your drive that contains the landsat image in my case, I have uh, Landsat 9. From the available listed 11 bands, I need to have band 5 and band 4. You can select both band 4 and band 5 and drag and drop to the window. Uh, let me show you uh, by adding my vector data or my area of interest since I am interested to have NDVI of my uh, study area. So I have area of interest here. From this, I would like to add this shape file. This is my study area, and uh, finally, I would like to have the NDVI map of this administrative boundary. Let's go to generating NDVI. So, uh, as you are familiar with ArcGIS, you can simply generate NDVI from uh, Map Algebra by Raster Calculator. The same thing happen in Quantum GIS and go to raster from raster uh, select raster calculator. Here there is raster calculator expression and we need to remember the formula of NDVI. So open the bracket then the formula of NDVI is as you know band 5 minus band 4 close the bracket over open the bracket band 5 pl plus 
band 4 close the bracket and we need to give a name in our working directory or restoration folder so to do that go to open layer and let me say in the vi scene and vi scene save it i would like to leave the rest of the parameters by default hit ok it will uh, perform by the way the value of ndvi always ranges between minus one to one minus one indicates that there is localization distribution and positive one indicates that there is high uh, vegetation distribution with our uh, with uh, better health status of the vegetation so i would like to anti or remove the input data right click and remove layer now let me overlay the shape file or the steady area so this indicates that the minimum value of ndvi for this scene is minus 0 0.099883 and the maximum value is positive 0 0.43241 this is a black one the dark black indicates that there is no vegetation uh, distribution and this indicates that it is water body i would like to make a change in color ramp so double click here to change the color ramp here is rendering type select this and select single band zero color you can uh, increase number of classes uh, this is five class but you can increase by changing here uh, equal interval or quantile but i would like to use a default value hit ok so uh, this is the ndvi raster map of the whole scene the red one indicates that this red one indicates that there is high amount of vegetation distribution whereas deep blue uh, indicates that there is water body this is as you know a river channel the final step is extract out my ndvi value based on our uh, area of interest or administrative boundary to do that what i'm going to do is go to raster from raster select extraction and go to the right way uh, clip raster by mask layer so here uh, the input layer is the ndvi the mask layer is our administrative area or a shape file leave other by default and go down and save your uh, output in your working directory or in your folder so save to file select the folder that you want to save it uh, the final ndvi so k ndvi is my final name save it hit run close it and finally uh, this is the administrative boundary and the raster data is simply clip out by uh, our uh, area of interest to see the vector the raster data double click on vector map uh, from symbology uh, single symbol select simple fill then from symbol layer type uh, go down on fill style this is solid click here and select no brush apply okay this is a raster data that we have uh, clipped out from the larger data set and this is in dbi value of my study area to have better color ramp double click on k and dvi then the same thing happen here select single color single band zero color and uh, okay this is an dvi value of my stereo area as far as the expression is concerned the red one indicates that there is high uh, amount of um, vegetation distribution this area especially the northeastern and eastern part of my city area have higher vegetation uh, cover 
whereas the central part have uh, low vegetation distribution. Generally speaking, the red one indicates that there is high distribution of vegetation along the highland areas of this administrative area. This is all about how to compute NDVI from Landsat now using Quantum GIS. If you have any question, let me know. Please don't hesitate to subscribe my YouTube channel and please share for your friends and colleagues. Have a nice day.